Hey everybody, it's Paul. Welcome to the channel. You know, the other day I went over to an Ollie's bargain outlet. It's kind of like a cross between a family dollar, a dollar general, those kind of places. And they specialize in, I would say, discontinued items, maybe clearance overruns, salvaged items, but kind of like an odd lot, big lot. They do it in such a way the store is well lit, it's bright, it's clean, it's got signage everywhere. I can admit the best thing about the experience there is the signage. For me, I thought they were clever and cute and, you know, kind of comical. And they sell a little bit of everything. And maybe I'm biased because those stores aren't typically my cup of tea. Like if I want a tool, I'll go to Home Depot to get my hammer or vice grips or whatever wrench. You know, I'm not going to go to Ollie's, but Ollie's does sell some tools. They sell a little bit of everything from candy to fishing lures to rugs to fabric softener some of it is not the name brand like maybe if you're going for nuts and you're looking for planters you may get stars or some other brand but they do have some like gain fabric softener or things like that but sometimes i even wonder if that's kind of the not so popular fragrances. I, I don't know this, but I fear those are the ones that are probably selling the least in the big box stores. You know, they make no bones about it. They tell you right up front in their signage that they got all over the place, but they say that they sell closeouts, clearance items, salvage items, you know, stuff that they can get cheap and they resell for a profit. And that's all fine. That's good. And, you know, they had some christmas decorations that's what we were mainly there for but even some of that looked a little i don't know just a little off sorta i mean everybody has a different style so i mean that's a cool thing if you have maybe a really eclectic type of style where you like things that are not the mainstream then maybe you could go over there and get some deals but I don't know it just seemed to me like the whole time the signage is telling you what a great deal you're getting but you know sometimes when they're telling you so often about the great deal that it is then it makes me wonder if it's really that great of a deal after all i'll show you they had some marshmallows and it was the brand name you know marshmallows but when you squeezed them they weren't really soft at all so then I looked and it had like five days until the until the expiration date so you know I guess you're going to get some of that the prices like on some of the stuff I would say it's about the same maybe some of the stuff's a little bit cheaper but it's not like wow this is just incredible you know at first, I thought they showed a picture. They had um, Yankee Candles, $7.99 for a good size Yankee Candle. But it wasn't really the true Yankee. It was the, Yank the cheaper Yankee Candle, the at-home brand or whatever. It's made by Yankee, but I think they put less of the, the scent in it, you know. So, you know, at first I'm like, wow, that's really a great price for a Yankee, but it wasn't the Yankee. It was made by Yankee, but not the Yankee brand. But anyways, you know, so obviously there were a lot of people buying stuff in there. So let me know if you've been to an Ollie's. Are you a regular shopper of Ollie's? I wouldn't say it's a horrible experience, you know. I'm not really going to give it the thumbs down, like necessarily but i'm not going to give it the thumbs up kind of like this you know nah. so anyways i bought these mints they're not the thin mint or the the junior mint brand you know um but these are 100 um, percent american made peppermint thick mint zachary brand but the funny thing is i looked on every surface and I could not find an expiration date. Now, the funny thing is, um, and you won't be able to see it because I can barely see it, 
it's white text and the white and it says F1140B. I don't know what kind of code that means. I don't know. But that's not a clear expiration. I thought all kinds of things were supposed to have an expiration date. But these ones clearly didn't. You're buying it at your own risk, you know. I'm sure it's not like they're going to hurt you or anything. But they're not going to be necessarily the freshest. So I thought we would just um, give these an old sample. The kiddos got in them already. And they were not overly impressed. Let's see what we see here. This here one seems to be fine but maybe I'll focus. Eh. These ones are kind of stuck. Now this one is looking way better but so i'll try that one um this one here looks like it you see it it's sunk in like these ones are stuck in yeah not too cool so So, you know, they got hot or something, but, um, I guess we'll try this one anyways, just for the fun of it. So, let's see what happens here. So, that's good. Dead side soft. Fine, tastes good. So I wonder if the truck just got warm or if it got warm inside the store or something like that. The stuff kind of melted together. So they had things like Reese's. I love Reese's cups, but I didn't buy any. It's like you're buying the Halloween ones, you know, and we're coming up to Christmas. So it's like if you just want to snack on them for your own self, that's great. But I mean, like laying them around for gas or whatever, that's not going to look too uh, cool. So the problem is with some like that store, say you do find a product that is at a good price that they have. Of course, they are buying clothes out. So what they have one week, they may not have the following week. Overall, those stores, all of them, the Dollar Generals, the Family Dollars, the Big Lots, are not my cup of tea, but I love a deal. But I really want to feel that I'm getting a deal. Like sometimes, you know, you'll go into um, Home Depot and you'll see some clearance items that are slashed way down. Then you know it's a deal or a, a good sale item or something. But you want some quality. And I'm not like a, a big guy. I don't have to have snap-on tools, you know. I can get by usually like with a Ryobi or you know the husky brand at you know the home depot brand or the cobalt brand at lowe's usually those will be fine for me let me know what you guys think um i'm not saying it, it's interesting it's fun to go in there once i'm glad that i went and we bought a few items you know but i probably i wouldn't make it a habit of going over there but you know if you got time to kill and you don't mind doing an impulse buy or two i'm sure you'll go in there and find a few things at a at a decent price anyways but let me know your experience do you guys love big lots are you uh are you happy going to dollar general i heard that um some of the dollar stores are raising their prices what was a dollar tree or one of them was going up to a buck 25 so you know, some of those you can get some pretty good deals in, I thought. But this one's kind of different, obviously. So anyways, 
I always appreciate hearing what your guys' thoughts are. Let me know which stores you like, which ones you don't. Are the discount stores really a bargain or are you just uh, getting junk at a cheap price? Let me know your thoughts. As always, I appreciate the interaction. Till next time, we'll see us.